Howdy YouTubers, this is Nick. Uh, just a little quick video demonstrating uh, a, uh, a feature of uh, most digital oscilloscopes uh, called aliasing. Uh, so what I have here is the scope is set for um, to show what effectively is a uh, low voltage uh, CMOS uh, square wave. Uh, it's uh, 0 to 3.3 volts, roughly. Um, but this is a 10 megahertz square wave. Now if you do the arithmetic, that means that one cycle should last 100 nanoseconds. And what I have here on the scope is that it is set for 100 milliseconds per division. So effectively you just see a giant fog uh, as the uh, square wave is much too fast for the resolution of the scope. So we're just going to turn the time base uh, down in time uh, and watch as it changes. Okay, so now we've gotten down to 20 milliseconds per division. Uh, we're even down to 10 milliseconds per division, and uh, you would think that the square wave is starting to develop rather nicely, wouldn't you? Uh, well, maybe so, but the uh, a, a square wave whose period and by the way, the, the period is about, the, the cycle length looks like it's about one and a half or so uh, divisions on the scope. It's, it's moving, so it's hard to be sure, but, uh, you know, one, one division on the scope is five milliseconds. That is still far, far, far too long to represent a 10 megahertz square wave. So what's going on here is that we're effectively sampling that 10 megahertz square wave, and sometimes it's high and sometimes it's low. And because we're, the time base is so long, there are many multiples of, uh, of waves in there. And what this effectively is, this effectively is a moray pattern. Um, uh, it's an interference pattern between the time base and the frequency uh, being tested. You can verify that as we step down. Uh, note, by the way, also the trigger is not working. Uh, this is maybe your first clue if you're uh, playing with your scope and you can't get it to trigger right. Like, what the heck's going on here? Why isn't it triggering nicely and giving me just a nice square wave? Well, it's triggering on the alias signal. Um, and the, uh, it, the interference, the, 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 there's not going to be a exact lining up between the time base of your scope and the signal under test. Uh, your, your scope's time base is not going to be that accurate that it's going to be able to line right up. So let's keep turning it down. Uh, and now we are starting to see uh, that we've gone past uh, the wavelength of our alias. As we keep going down, now this looks familiar. Doesn't this look exactly like it did when it was back up at 10, millisecond, or, uh, 10 milliseconds per division? Now we're at 10 microseconds per division. Still, a 10 megahertz square wave is inside of that particular fog, but now the fog is no longer alias. Now we're actually seeing the real fog. We go down to five microseconds, two, one. Now we can start to actually resolve the 10 megahertz square wave. And now you see that the period actually looks correct. It really is about 100 nanoseconds per division per wavelength. And then now down to 20. And now that is what it looks like. And notice as well the trigger is actually working. So we have some extra assurance um, that it is not being aliased because the trigger is actually triggering on the actual waveform rather than back up here four or five orders of magnitude higher um, it wasn't it was triggering on the alias so it was shifting around it wasn't able to cleanly trigger so just uh, fun with uh, modern digital oscilloscopes See you next time.